Hey everyone, it's Brandy, and you're watching Abstract Crafter. This is going to be an interesting video. It's going to be all about how we're going to get all of this. All of this. And this. And this. And this. And this. To look good. Um, a lot of organizing. A lot of little things to get done, but I thought I'd give you a one over and show you kind of what we're working with. So, obviously I didn't do an intro to this video because I just wanted to get into it. So, this is all going to become paper storage down here. I have obviously a lot of paper for paper crafts. Um, there's like a little, a million little built-in shelves all around. Well figure out what to do with those, get this all cleaned up, decide what I want to do with this. It's going to have to be sanded, obviously, and then covered. I think might paint it a nice bright color. We'll see what works best. Um, all of those boxes got to get unpacked. And pretty much all these, and then like my diamond paintings are down there. And I gotta find a different storage area because that basement's not ideal. We got two big boxes down here. This needs to be redone, but I had painted this because I thought it would look good with different color drawers at one point. I don't know why I thought so, but I did. And this is where all my makeup used to live. And now all my craft supplies are gonna live here. And then I just bought this topper at the thrift store for a couple dollars. And it's got its own little shelving units on it. Um, you can kind of move the clips. So we'll probably move those halfway down. But that'll sit on top of this. I want to get them both painted to match. I got new curtains because, well, you know, I love animals. But I'm just not outdoorsy like that. So those got to go. I'm a little bit afraid to see what's hiding behind there. Being as it's a basement and I'm just starting to clean because as you can see it's pretty, pretty gross. A lot of spider webs. We're going to kill off some homes. Um, under here, once I get this cleaned up, that'll be like, I'm going to get some sterilite dressers in there. We'll put some stuff in. That'll be more storagey stuff too, but I want to get things in boxes so that are in permanent storage and drawers and stuff so that we don't gotta worry about that. I haven't quite decided what to do about underneath this bench yet. I don't know if I'm gonna put some shelving in there. Let's walk around to the other side so you can kind of see. And look at this awesome chair that Adam found for me. It spins. It's not spinning right now. Oh there it goes. But yay! Yeah, so I can put that where those boxes are. So I can sit when I want to sit, stand when I want to stand. But I do kind of want to cover this back up so that it's not obvious, you know, like, oh, look at all the paper crafting in there. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to utilize this shelf. This used to be a VHS shelf. But then we got this side, and I think that's got to get covered too, just because. And then, like, the floor is, I got to get a rug in here. And here's an example of, like, I, I, he built all these little shelves, and I'm guessing that whenever he was like, oh, I need a spot for this, he just built a shelf. Because he was kind of like a DIYer before there was DIY. So this is the starting point. Um, not sure if we're going to do the whole video together, but the tripod is ready and waiting for me to film videos. I have about four videos I need to film, a couple diamond painting videos. Sophie and Toffee, two of Sophie and Toffee videos at least. And then we have, uh, I have um, a diamond painting drill with me video that I'm going to get out. There is um, a couple of craft kits that I found at Sam's Club right here is one of them. This crochet kit, that'll be another video. I've never crocheted so why I thought let's get one of those beyond me but I mean look at this it's just a bunch of stuff I don't even know what to do like this is a project I want to do making a new animal bed out of that for the cats I mean 
I was thinking of starting a new series of like um story time and scrapbooking or scrapbooking story time because I found so many good pictures and I want to start well I want to get back into doing scrapbooking but as you can see we got a lot of work to do this is like cross stitch I want to get it out of this and probably into one of those drawers I just think it'd be easier to like get into a drawer and pull it out and look through that like a file cabinet style but we'll see so, yeah, I don't know. I'm debating what to do with this desk. If we're just gonna rip off the contact paper from the top and repaint the whole thing. Or just try to clean it up. Because, yeah. I got real crafty with this. You can see it's gray and white. So, I mean, it was... When I first did it, I really liked it. But now it's kind of... I did it with craft paint, so... <laughs> It's kind of needing an update, and I never did seal like this them very well. I just did like a clear coat of spray paint on them, but I did buy those new knobs, so they used to have wooden knobs on it. So it'd be nice to kind of get this back in working order and looking good again. Since it won't be a working desk, it'll be a storage desk. That'd be even better, and it's got all this contact paper on that I put on there that it's got to come off too. Because it's peeling back and I didn't do the best job with it, honestly. So this is where we're starting. I'm so anxious to get this going. I just, it's, I have no idea where to start. I have no idea where to begin. But I guess just diving in is the best way. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright, in the next clip you're going to see this looking a lot better than it does now. So, yeah. Exciting times. <laughs> All right, here we go with the after, my friends. Now, this may not be everybody's like dream workspace, craft space, but this is more than I could have ever asked for. Uh, surroundings aside, like the ugly floor and the big furnace back there and like these ugly shelves here, that stuff aside, uh, I started here so you could see what it's like when I walk into my area. And then we'll go through each little bit, little by little. So all, but anyway, all that stuff aside, this is more than I could have ever hoped for as far as having my, like, own space that I don't have to share, that's all mine, and that I can just do what I want with. And I have so much storage that I can expand my, uh, quote unquote, empire. So when we walk in my little area, now remember, I'm not a vlogger, so I'm not the best at this. We're getting there. So immediately, I'll give you the overview, because we're kind of organized. Even though it may not seem like it, once I walk you through it, it'll probably make a little bit more sense. Um, I'm still missing a few little pieces that I need for organizing, but again, we'll get there. And I still need to change out the ugly curtains, but, all right. So, I'm set up for a video right now, so there's a little bit of a mess there. But, right here, this is the, I originally wanted this for paper storage, but when I started putting it in there, it just, it looked a little messy. So now this is all for diamond painting. Up here will typically be cleared off, but because... Uh, this is what I'm using for the custom I'm working on. So that's there because I needed the space there to work on. So, but that's kind of why I wanted this space clear so that I could put stuff there. This is the basket I've been using to collect and dry those flowers there. And those are some potatoes for dinner. Ignore those. <laughs> so then I got my little tools there that used to have a lot more stuff in it but like any stuff like these will go in the bigger spot because they take up more room pens in this little thing tweezers in there and then clips for when i need to add a foam roller on there these are those big clamps that can fit around there easily so i just wanted those easy to access um <clears throat> my coffee cup coffee and mascara. I love this cup. I found it at Hobby Lobby. But this is kind of just when I need to grab quick supplies, I have to 
find the thing I need for these pens, and then this will this will go away. That's just a mix mixture of markers that I use for random things. A nice strong wax melt to get rid of this basement smell, and then, then my little drawers that I got at Dollar Tree for making labels. Uh, Rebagging, it's not in there very well, but my baggies are in there. So just stuff that I need for diamond painting mostly or writing things down go there. Some magnets for some things I'm experimenting with for my Etsy store. And then of course we have to have the little antibacterial hand gels. And this I just haven't found a home for. This is the rock I found when I was walking Tyrion one day. And uh, I was supposed to rehide it, but I never did post a pick and rehide. I couldn't part with it, so sorry to whoever made that. It's that amazing that I can't get rid of it. But that's just kind of where my diamond painting stuff goes. My jar of wax, like, I started just smooshing it in there because I seen, I think it was Diamond Painting by Donnie had a jar like that, so I wanted one too. <laughs> Thanks, Donnie. And again, just stuff for diamond painting this is my bag of quotes the quotes that you guys see in my videos this is where i pull them from is in this bag and then there's just some paint supplies right in there and then coming down we have all my binders so squares rounds uh diamond dots or ones without dmc my book which I think it's kind of a foreign thing to get an inventory sheet nowadays, but... And then just my DMC color charts, uh, my light pad, so... Oh, I almost fell backwards. Awesome. Some things that are kitted up. My lighting looks really yellow, doesn't it? So, and then in here is just stuff that hasn't been kitted up, or like this one that... The wolf, this wolf one that I got from... Project Amazon Part 1. If there, if I couldn't fit it in there and I needed to keep it in a container like that, then I just, that's what this is. And then this is just some other projects I've kitted up. Um, one thing I want to, we'll talk about in a sec with this big thing here. We'll talk about that. But then on the very bottom are the kits that are in those style containers. And then my extra supplies in the pink. I uh, put those down there because I figured it wouldn't matter if they got webby or dusty or whatever. And then my realist that I still have to find somewhere to hang. All right, so this here, folks, let's get in a better position. My mom found this thing for me here, and she thought it would be good for my diamond paintings. And I realized I just went me to go all willy-nilly, but you see what's happening to them is they're getting squished up. I don't know what shape they're going to be in when I pull them out of there, but this is why diamond painting storage is so, so important. Uh, many of you know that I had made my own storage, and then I transferred the stuff out of those and put it, put everything into here, and you can see that it damaged those canvases. So all of those need to be fixed. So that is why storing your diamond paintings when they're completed is so, so important because you don't want to have to go back and fix them. They are an investment of time and money, like I say all the time. So you want to treat them with the respect that they deserve. That sounds really weird, but it is what it is. So that's a project that I'm going to work on sooner rather than later. I mean, I, it, the idea of it was really cute. It has all these different size pockets and stuff, but obviously, oh my God, everything's falling. The practicality of it just wasn't, it wasn't what I hoped for. And now I have a bunch of diamond paintings that I'm going to have to fix as a result. Okay, so then, obviously, ignore the stuff back there. But I have flowers hanging here. And those are going to be for some reg regin, <laughs> resin projects I have going on. And these are just random ones that I found around the yard. And it's stuff like this that I would have never been able to do before because it would have been like 
the other people I lived with would have been like, oh, why are you got flowers hanging everywhere? What are you going to do with this? When are you going to put it away? So now I don't have to worry about it because it's my space and I can keep them hanging as long as I want. <laughs> and onto this. So obviously I'm going to be doing my resin project um, video next. Oops, I got a finger in the way. Sorry. Told you, uh, amateur vlogger here. But I decided, since I can't paint this just yet, I just covered it with this. This was going to be my backdrop, but I threw it on the table to film some videos. And I liked it so much that my husband stapled it on there for me. So for now, that's the background you're going to see for the most part. And then over here, we have my phone. <laughs> and just some, like... My wax melter to try to get good smells. My coffee warmer, which I think this is actually a candle warmer. But let me tell you a little life hack here. Them work amazing for coffee warming purposes. I just love them. Oh, and right over there is my son's workout area. Eh, it's kind of blah right now. It's going to be amazing when we start remodeling this basement. And then this is all the miniature house building stuff right here couple of them that I'm working on and my cat plays fetch oh uh, yeah you got to see this if I ever can figure out how to transfer the video that my husband took it's pretty freaking amazing he plays catch better than most dogs and oh, this is just stuff that we found randomly that I need to put up like my husband made this when he was a child and I just thought it was so cute that I kept Kept it, and I'm going to put it on the wall as decoration. He was very young when he knitted that, so of course I'm going to keep it. And then, like, this is, like, a quote for life. Stop dreaming and start doing. I absolutely love that. Let's stick it right here. Yay. Yeah, so that's just kind of a, eh, area. <laughs> I found this at the Dollar Tree, and I just love it. I don't know why. I see them everywhere now, but... I just thought it was so cute because it is garbage. Like, not really, but that's... <laughs> I have so much stuff, it just becomes crap. So, that's kind of a little funny haha. -ha. And just another tripod. And then under here, eventually, this will have a couple of Sterilite... Like, those Sterilite dressers under there for more storage. But that's all my acrylic pour paintings... And you would not believe how many are in here. I just finally got rid of a whole bunch. I mean, someday maybe I'll show you some of them. You've only seen a few of them, but it's extensive. Uh, my sewing stuff. Uh, by sewing, it's like clothes and curtains. Stuff like that. That's the kind of stuff I sew. Uh, I love sewing, but I've never really had space to do it. So I do now. Let's see. There's not a whole lot of excitingness in here. But, it's like, I got a bag of fabric, uh, instructions for my sewing machine, just some bits and bobs in this cute little box here. Like, you know, the typical stuff that you expect to find, which some of this will probably get moved out of here, like these, and they'll end up going in with my resin stuff. In fact, we'll throw them out now. And that's just a small portion of stuff that I have for sewing. That's just the stuff that I was using when I worked on my last project. So yeah, so that's just another little tote. So then, my amazing chair that I showed you, the, I love this chair. He found it on Facebook Marketplace, which is fast becoming one of my favorite things to find stuff. <laughs> so while we're here, because this stuff isn't on the shelf, some of the organizing that I did like in here is all my silicone molds stuff that I'm going to be doing for this projects coming up um so if you're curious about you know it's me learning and that's what I'll be filming so if you're curious about watching me learn then stay tuned for that so that's what's in that little one oops sorry and then just some stuff I'm working on like these I had gotten from a do-it-yourself face mask kit that I didn't really like. But I couldn't just throw out, like, good rose petals and lavender buds. So I'm going to use these in resin crafting. And then I stole one of my diamond painting 
um, storage, Tic Tac storage, which you all know is my favorite. And now it's glitter storage. It's not the most practical, I'll, I'll admit. But it works to keep them all together for now. And then I got one of these that I actually gotten this from the Dollar Tree as well. I had no idea what I would do with it. But I got it anyway and it does have a lid if you need it. But I just kind of use it as a base for that. And then, so on this side is a bunch of these focus it's the stars that make it not there we go um they're pigment dyes they're all sophie and toffee ones for you know obviously dyeing your resin with and then i just have this little findings so i put that in the middle compartment and that's where those will go and then this side is all the mica powders i think i had told you guys about this if you watched my candle making video if not, I will put that up in the cards. But that's what's here. And this mica powder, for the price of it, it is so good. It's so vibrant. And it's you don't need very much at all. So I, I'll put that link down below for you guys. I mean, I use it for not just resin crafting, for crafting crafting. So I just got that stuff in there for now until... I get some more storage containers so that's that and this container and I'll show you where this stuff all goes this is all like this is stuff that I'm going to be using for one of the projects so it's still in this big bag but this is like glitters and stuff that are too that I have too much of to fit in the smaller containers or I like that they're in these containers already like these are leftover bits and bobs from doing my my miniature houses because you're always cutting up these fruits and those canes are fairly cheap to find online but I thought why not just use them in resin crafting and so my little spoon for my mica powders and a lot of this stuff is actually also nail stuff which is kind of why I kept it in here but look at this tiny funnel <laughs> this is probably my favorite thing for crafting it's a glitter funnel and I thought that was genius, and it works amazingly. So, and if you guys remember this spoon from one of my storage containers that I bought that it came with that little spoon. So, yeah, this is just, like, combo nail stuff and resin stuff. Like, I love this paper there. I got these bigger gems that I have no idea what to do with. Um, some weird green grass looking stuff and I got I just got these two powders in my last uh, Sophie and Toffee box and they're so freaking gorgeous look at those I can't wait I have debating if I'm gonna do a nail polish look with them because I love hollow I love stars obviously I got hollow on my nails now and then I also got a lot of these like little gems I had bought a bunch of these from Amazon before I knew about AliExpress so I just have tons of these like little gems for nails. And then the, my most recent one is these gears because I uh, love steampunk. I'm not brave enough to like actually dress in steampunk, but I have it in case I do. And then just more of these things. I actually used to make my own cell phone cases and that's where a lot of these little gems are from. I bought specific colors, and then I have no idea where I got these pink and gold ones, but they're there. And then I have some, like, bows that are made out of pearls and just a bunch of, like, weird... I had actually gotten some of these, like, these weird colored ones here. They're, like, gems, and I got them with this and a similar color nail polish for this, like, textured art nail art look. And then, like, these bows I found at the Dollar Tree for, they're for nails, but they don't stay on your nails very well. So, I just try to find any, put in here anything that's shiny and can be used for nails and for resin crafting. Because I just find it hilarious when I get my Sophie and Toffee boxes. Now, granted, I've only gotten three, but every time I've gotten something that says nail art on it. 
So I just find it hilarious that they go hand in hand. So then we shift over here and I got some of my UV resins. I got this one from Amazon. I'll link this down below. It's a really good resin if you're into resin crafting and it's very affordable. Um, this was the first one I ever got and it's basically the same. I, I don't notice a difference between these two at all. And then I have this epoxy resin sitting here because I'm going to use this in my tutorial. I bought these for um, a project, a school project that my kids had to do for school. And so now those are going to be for resin crafting. And then this little acrylic drawer has more little bits and bobs like some of these resin pieces that I made that I'm actually going to be making needle minders out of some of them. So if you guys want to see some tutorials on how to make your own um, needle minders, which I guess some people are now calling them cover minders. I think Donnie coined that phrase cover minder and she sells them. So I'm not trying to like come up for her business, but I do have quite a few of those things that I want to just kind of get rid of and like some of this stuff is stuff that fell off of one of my projects because I didn't glue it on very well like this little bow but I mean how cute let's get where it's not gonna how cute would this be as a little needle minder I think it would be adorable or a cover minder I guess depending and then yeah so this is just stuff for making bezels which are these things and it's got like the sticky paper that you can put down so that you, you know, your resin doesn't seep out. And then this is just like a handheld torch I got from Sophie and Toffee. But I have a big one that I use for my nails that I'll probably dig out to use for some of these projects. So yeah, this video is what I'm going to be filming next. Is I have uh, like four resin projects that I'm going to do. Because I don't do the projects when I unbox my Sophie and Toffee. Or at least I haven't yet. I'm going to start, depending on if I keep up with the subscription. And I just lost my shoe. Hold on. I don't, I'm not comfortable yet enough to walk around my basement without my shoes on. Okay. So, I'm rambling and I'm fully aware of that. You don't need to remind me. Oops, and my finger's in the way again. Bad vlogger. Bad. Okay, let's start at the top of this because this is crazy. So, obviously that's for my acrylic pouring. It's some pre-mixed stuff. This is the Flood Flow Atrol with a bunch of other stuff that I've used. And then up here, and yes, I really do use all of these in crafts. So right here I have a calligraphy set. This thing is so cute. I'll show it to you just really quick. Any of this stuff that you want me to do tutorials on, let me know. Um, so my husband got me this little starter set, and it's so much fun. I have a few books that kind of teach you how to do calligraphy as well. And then this one is Stamps Galore. I got all of these from thrift stores mostly, and then the Target Dollar Spot. And then in this blue one is Stickers and Stencils. Uh, this one is more dollhouse creating stuff, and I realize I'm way too close for you. And then this is just a storage thing that my mom had got for me. Uh, it's just random. I use some of the containers for, um, diamond painting and then the, some for other whatever I need them for basically and then over here is my gel pens and marker collection and oh and then this is for acrylic pouring too it's just little things to make different designs with acrylic pouring so yeah I got double-sided markers in there double-ended some gel pens I've never even used yet gel pens I have used I got those from AliExpress I think or maybe Amazon. I'm not sure. And then my markers. And then that lunch pail back there is all markers too. Mostly Crayola from when I was really into coloring books. So then you come down here and you have more stuff for acrylic pouring. All the bottles are pre-mixed paints that are already mixed with the pouring medium. Um, just the colors I use most right here. I had gotten a bunch of these in a grab bag at Goodwill, and they're pretty full, so they're good colors to have a lot of. These are like my neon colors right here, and uh, CO2 for when I'm working with my torch. Um, these paper towels are those Vivas, V-I-V-A, and they're really good for doing acrylic pours because they're so absorbent. 
And then this obviously is just all paint. It's all acrylic paint. Mostly Craft Smart because I don't think you need to buy artist quality paints to get really good acrylic pours. I find these Craft Smart ones from Michaels are just as good as the more expensive ones. So then you come down and then this is kind of like the messy area. And I haven't quite figured out what I want to do with this yet, but this is all paper crafts. So obviously I got my stack of minis here. And then this little thing has like cut up stuff, uh, paper cutters, like hole punchers that have designs, that kind of thing. Like whatever randomness I decide to throw here, more or less. But for the most part, this is like plain cardstock and construction paper. Um, I have some sage here for smudging, for doing clean house cleansings. And then in here is like office supplies. I have an addiction to office supplies. Like it's a real problem. So this is just full of different like flags and push pins for my cork board, post-its, just random. I mean, it's endless. And that's just a small portion of it. Anyway, it's gets terrible. Um, but I found this box at Michael's, I want to say. Once upon a time, all things, all good things are wild and free. And, of course, it's got butterflies on it. So that's like a big plus for me, too. But I love this. Now it won't close because I'm digging around in it. There we go. I love things like that like hippie-ish or whatever and oops this actually needs to go on the table because this is for resin crafting I just got it so I wouldn't have to use my real lighter heat it's just a lighter all right so before we get into the drawers let's just scoot over here so this is all just different craft glues and this is just a small portion of what I have too it's nuts like when I was building my houses, I went through a lot of these were me trying different glues to see what worked best for the houses. And then just a bunch of little stuff. And like these are so that you can put them on your glue bottles and make them pour out fine. Of course, it's so you can get a really fine line out of them. They don't work that great. So that's why they're in there, not on the glue bottles. But this is why I showed you all that resin stuff, because this is like a resin shelf. So all of that stuff gets organized into here. I just have more UV resin there, um, more AB epoxy resin there, and more of that stuff I got from Amazon. And then in this cigar box is actually a bunch of... Uh, come out. Open up. I think I have it taped. It's little baby rocks that I got from a playground, actually. <laughs> you know, way to go, Brandy. Stealing from the children. Uh, yeah, I can't do that one-handed. It's not happening. But they're little tiny rocks, and I wanted them for um, resin crafting and for the thing that's on the next show. Um, down, well, this is where I store, like, that thing with the uh, glitters and stuff goes in there. But then down here, we just have, like, the stuff may appear to be very random, but it is for, um, this stuff. <laughs> Brain fart. This clay. Um, what is that clay? You know, the clay. <laughs> I'll show you. We'll go, I'll show you that bag in a minute. For this clay. Why is I polymer clay? There it is. I actually had to look at the poly paste, but I am just starting to dabble in polymer clay. So that's what all that stuff is. And these are just things to kind of build on and with. And then in this bag here, oh yeah, that's not happening. Hold on. I'm going to have to do a little maneuvering all right so in here i have white chalk i don't remember why i wanted white chalk for the life of me i don't remember i needed white chalk for something though g 
geez, that's going to drive me nuts why I have that. And look at this. Horizon Group USA, I'm telling you, they are taking over the crafting world. Anyway, so in here I have stuff for dot mandalas. Oh, that's what it's for. So that when I do my um, dot mandalas on rocks, I can use the chalk to draw the lines with if I use this stencil. And then it'll wipe away when I'm done. But this is just like... Oh. I haven't even opened these yet, but these are a bunch of polymer clay tools. Oh my god, I almost just had a bad accident. Sorry about that. So polymer clay tools that I needed or wanted. And then just a bunch of tools for dot mandalas. So if you want a tutorial on that, let me know because it is so fun. You think diamond painting is relaxing? Dot mandalas are so relaxing because... That you don't even have to think. It's just you. You can just shut your mind off, and you just make these amazing creations. So that's that's all polymer clay and dot mandala stuff. And then over there, I just have a, those vinyls that I got on clearance. So then down there, it's just my tubs for when I do acrylic pours, my poster board, my poster board. Good lord, my corkboard and then I still haven't found a good spot where I wanted to put all of my that's still everything cross stitch so I started putting together these are stuff that's kitted up for some projects that I'm doing out of a magazine I showed you a lot of this stuff but just a lot of hoops tons and tons of projects I actually just found this thing and I'm so excited to do it it, it's all opened up, but um, look at that—a buck fifty for this, and it's glass. And I looked, and everything is in there. But I thought that was really pretty, and even if I didn't like the colors, I could switch it up. So that stuff's all in there for a buck fifty. Yeah, you're not gonna—that's a heck of a deal. That's why I love thrift stores. This is actually a cloth from my wedding, and I was gonna throw it away, but. I decided I need to make something out of it. I don't know what yet, but it was used in a photo booth that we made. It's By photo booth, I mean a garden arch with fabric wrapped around it. So that's all cross-stitch, everything cross-stitch in there. And before we go through the drawers, let's go over here. So this is a little bit more storage. This is like a Santa candle that my husband had from his childhood that I'm going to repaint. Oh, let me know if you want to see a video on that, like a crafting chat. That would be fun. And those are just different types of markers. Um, generic, like Sharpies, Posca paint pens. Don't know what's in this one offhand. Uh, oh, tape. It's all scotch tape. <laughs> Some frames for a diamond painting video I'm going to do. It's the one, if you remember, where... I'm going to replace, take some of the drills out and replace my own and then frame them. And then in there is everything that you need to make bathroom supplies. Everything. Bath bombs, shampoo bars, blah, 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 blah. And then this is just a cute little bunny that I found randomly. And I just thought it was too adorable to throw away. And then just stuff that wouldn't fit in any other drawers. Extra elves boxes. My very first tub of markers. And yes, the obsession is real when it comes to markers. Oh, just camera stuff in there. Um, that's just a puzzle of Johnny Depp that I did. As I was obsessed with him in Pirates of the Caribbean. Them are just all like diamond paintings. Some of these are diamond paintings that I'm going to offer up on my um, page to give away. Like my Facebook group because... They're just, when I went through my collection, there are ones that I just knew I wasn't going to have time for. There's an extra one there of, like when I, Sylvanas. I mean, some of these videos, you'll have to go way back on my channel to even know what the heck I'm talking about. But it's a bad canvas, more or less. It was a canvas I got, and they didn't send the drills. So I ended up reordering it from a different company, and it ended up being like 10 times better in the long run. That was just a chaotic story and then all the rocks I've collected and started painting this is one my daughter did she hates it but isn't that beautiful but so this is all rocks for doing rock painting 
and ones in there are already painted. I mean, it's just insane. When I get into something, I get into something. All right, we're almost done. Um, I, I want to thank you right now for <laughs> sticking it out with me because I... I'm good with a steady camera, and most of the time, even then, I'm not that great. So, in this drawer is all stuff for the kids that they can just come grab. Um, these are the worst colored pencils I've ever used in my entire life, and I don't think that they sell. Hold on, it's going to switch clips. Yeah, so these are the worst colored pencils I've ever used in my life. Uh, I don't even think they sell them anymore. I got them at Walmart. And they're just horrible. There's like no pigmentation to them at all. I got them for coloring books. And they're just horrible. And then just any kind of random thing that the kids might need for school too. Like one time we needed these oil pastels. These chalk pastels. And so I got those. And then these came. We had found these randomly. Just some highlighters. Some markers. My Prismacolor. Those actually shouldn't be in there, but it's all right. So this is all stuff that the kids might need. These chalks are actually um, mine for crafting, but I didn't have anywhere else to put them. They're like blending chalks, but I just didn't have anywhere else to stick them for the time being. So, yeah, that's, this whole drawer is for just the kids to come in and kind of whatever they need for school. And then in the middle drawers, just like a typical office drawer, it's just got any kind of random crap, like the sucrets. I love like these and Altoid tins for random stuff, and I do believe that this one is just paper clips. Yeah, and a couple binder clips. So yeah, that's all, literally all that's in there. But so this is just random office -y type of stuff that didn't really have anywhere else to go or like razor blades that I didn't really want to have out and accessible. Just random. My most prized possession, my bone folder. And some really cutesy like colored pencils that I had found. Oops. They're like, if you can see, let's see. They're rainbow. Like the tips are rainbow. Oh, Jesus. I can't vlog. What's wrong with you? Focus. Yeah, so they're multicolored and they change color. I don't know. I see stuff like that and I think I need it. So it's just random stuff. And then this top drawer, I don't even know. Oh, this is just like anything that alters paper, more or less. Like my one, two, three punch board, stapler, hole punch. Mini cutter. This thing sucks too. If you ever see these at Hobby Lobby, they're like two dollars and they're not worth it. They don't hardly cut at all. My uh, favorite ruler in the whole world. That thing is just trashed from doing diamond paintings. So since we're on this side, I will continue. This is all stuff for like paper crafting. So when I get my store up and running and I start putting like notebook stuff together, I have notebooks with mini pencils. I have tons of like mini gel pens, post-its, stuff I don't even know where I got it. <laughs> Down here is anything to do with holiday crafting. So Christmas thread, uh, Easter eggs that you can paint that you don't throw away. And then there's a tote down there and that's everything for making Christmas ornaments in that coat, which I don't want to dig it all out because I'm already making a mess, but that's something that I might do a video on one of these days too. Oops, we're gonna have to, yeah, get a foot on it. <laughs> all right, so back over on this side, this is just supplies for whatever. So like these things I had got when I had bought a paint grab bag, um, some window things that I had made, sand, Clothes pins. I mean, it's so random. There's no rhyme or reason to this. Like in here, there's like googly eyes and ribbon and beads and paint pots and glitter glue. I mean, this is just craft supplies. Random craft supplies. And then in this bottom drawer, let's move my board. 
Oop, don't fall. This is future, well, except for this. This is silicone molds for making, um, I thought I was going to make soap once upon a time, so I bought a ton of these molds, and I was going to make embeds out of them for soap, but I changed my mind, and I'll probably end up using them for their intended purpose. There's like hearts and bunnies and some Christmas ones in the middle. Just random. And so just a few things that I'm going to do on my channel. I'm going to finish that box theater that I started like a year ago. That crochet thing is in there. This like um, antique craft kit that I found. Just, so, just stuff that is future YouTube videos goes in that bottom drawer. Alright, I swear, we're almost done. Um... Up here is the most random shelf of stuff that when I get more storage, it will go in there. Um, this is like stuff that I'm going to be selling on my Etsy shop. Stuff to like mail it with. Them are all the necklaces that I made. My labels with my store name on it. This is just like finger paints and like just random like these cute little... Unicorn reusable baggies. Um, oh, extra tape for my tape runner. This color by number thing that I did. Just random treat bags. I mean, stuff that didn't really have a home. Some cards I had bought but never sent out. Um, some really disgusting acrylic paint that I tried using for acrylic pores. But once I added my... Um, stuff there, my pour medium in there, it just like clumped up and it was like cottage cheese. And then candles that I made on my video, uh, candles my daughter made me, these are like permanent sand rocks. See how cute? And they are just LED lights, so... And more like these I got on clearance, but I thought they'd be great for different craft purposes because you never know when you might need like a plate, some bowls, some cups, and it's just nice to have for that kind of stuff. Some spoons and forks for stirring things with, um, divider plates for when you're using like if I'm making stuff that has multiple components and then in there is all my Shopkins and they're just waiting for their home um my coloring journals wreck this journal I would really love to go through this with you guys someday because it's such a personal thing it's not near complete but if you ever want to get some insight into my creative side this is an awesome place to start um, and then, of course, I wanted to support one of my favorite YouTubers, Mariah Elizabeth, so I bought her books. And then these are all just, like, creative books, like, um, dot grid, that's, like, you can sew your own design on that cover. And these are just, like, coloring book journals, and then just a stack of random notebooks and stuff like that. Down here, obviously I just, you don't know it, but you will. This is just um, something I got from Influencer. And this stuff's pretty good, actually. I ended up getting the blue ones, the deep cleansing. And they are really good. I really like them a lot. So I got the bottle there of the astringent and then this one of the pads. I got them from Influencer. And they are really good. I, I like them up uh, quite a bit. So then my diamond painting that I'm working on right there. All I've gotten done, I think, is all you've what you've seen in the last video. is just that little bit there. So that we'll be working on soon. So right there is just some... I think those are like books. Like... Okay, so my whole life, all I've wanted was one of those, well, not my whole life, okay, that's exaggerating, but for a good while now, I've wanted to have my own, like, mini library, like, it's a thing, it's kind of a trend where you put this little house 
mm, kind of like a mailbox, but much bigger. And you put a bunch of books in there, and it's the free little library. And so your neighbors can come and borrow books from it, leave books, that kind of thing. And so I've been, like, when my kids get sick of their books, I've been saving them. And this was, like, a big project I did in college that I put so much freaking work into. So, because I went to school to be a medical, um, like, basically, I could run a medical wing, like, the office manager type thing. And so this is all things to do with that. It's nuts how much work went into that dang thing. But then that's what a lot of this stuff is. Oh, actually, it's not books to get rid of. Let's see if I can... It's, like, I got this from, um, FabFitFun one time. But then there's, like, my hand lettering books, my calligraphy books, a lot of hand lettering books right there. And then, like, a children's encyclopedia that I wanted to get pictures out of. Some fairy tale books. Just stuff that I thought would be good to keep in case I ever have grandchildren. But then over here is my... It's a small collection of coloring books because they take so freaking long. But I love Joanna Bashford. And I know once upon a time I said that she was the original creator of these. She's not. She's just the one that popularized it. So I have almost all of her books. Almost. I'm missing like two. But then just other ones that I had gotten randomly from on clearance or whatever. And just some more like individual coloring pages there. Mm, this is going to be a frame that I recycle for my Sylvanas DP down there. And that tote is all books that I'll be putting in that little free library. And then my Legos. 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 And filters. <laughs> Legos, you don't even want me to get started on that. Uh, that's another obsession. And that's just a bag of, like, rags and towels to use in my crafting. So that's it. Um, let's come around and look at it from this side. So that's it. This is my little piece of heaven. It's all I could ask for. I don't want anything more than this. And like I said, it might not be much to some people, but to me it's everything. I mean, really all you're ever going to see is this view, like that. <laughs> Look familiar? For the most part, that's all you'll really see of it. I mean, if you like the vloggy style stuff, I'm more than happy to get into it more. You know, and, and I plan on doing more updates as I, like, change out the curtains, as I paint the wall, as I paint the floor, once I get rugs in, stuff like that. Once I get it more, you know, not so basement-y looking. But this is a start. And there's the back view of my diamond painting stuff. But, I mean, right now, it's just a mess. This is just where we've been storing random stuff until we can get to it till it has a different home and tools and stuff that were a lot of this stuff was left here for us and I don't know if I showed this but I might have this is like look at how old 41 cents I know that I'm saying it I know I showed it but 41 cents for some crunchy peanut butter this one was 39 cents I mean so it's just random Little jars that I thought were super cute. 27 cents for this. I think it was jam. Or something like that. But yeah. So a lot of this stuff was left here for us. Which was nice. I and mean, it's nice not to have to start over with every little thing. Um, a lot of stuff we did add to. Like the sandpaper. And stuff like that. You know. That's mine for crafting. And so this is just. This is just my little world. You know. Um. When I talk about having my own craft area, it's nothing fancy, it's nothing excessive, but it's mine, and I love it, and I, I couldn't ask for more, and especially because I can really just do whatever to make it my own, and, and I can't wait to make memories in this beautiful little space of mine. I can't wait to make memories with all of you, and really, that's it. I don't know what else to say. You know, I'm just very grateful. I'm very thankful to have 
such a space considering what I had wasn't even as big as that right there. So that's it guys. Uh, thanks for hanging in there. It was a long video. I went over a lot of stuff. Anything that I showed you and talked about in, in this video, if you want to see individual tutorials on them or crafting chats, let me know. I'm more than happy to film anything. You guys just got to let me know what you want and I'll make it happen. If I don't have it already here, I'll get it. No worries. I'm happy to do it. Whatever makes you guys happy, that's my main goal. Because I'm doing what I love by filming videos and having a channel. So I want, let's make it successful. Let's make it everything that you guys could ask ask for from me. You know, let's let's do it. But I'm going to let you go because this is a hour video. And it was supposed to be like 20 minutes. So yay for rambling. <laughs> Alright guys, with that, I'll let you go. Have an awesome day. Have fun crafting. Have fun doing whatever it is that makes you happy. Can't do my heart, but I love you, friends. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.